Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the MetaQuest 3 and sideloading apps onto this device. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna learn how to set up our developer account with Meta. And this is gonna enable us to enable debugging on, on our MetaQuest 3. And it's a little bit different now, so I'm gonna show the new steps, um, only slightly different. And with that, we're also gonna be installing something called SideQuest. Um, this is a fantastic application that you can run on your PC and it enables you to uh, sideload you know, experimental apps onto your MetaQuest 3 device. Um, this is especially useful if you want to develop your own apps or you want to play with uh, the new you know, extended reality features on the MetaQuest 3, those XR features. Um, and that's what I wanted to do and that's why I made this video. So um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us and uh, I'll see you after the jump. All right, this video is all about installing SideQuest on your PC and even sideloading it onto your Oculus Quest 3. So let's get into it. So I first want to start by saying that if you're setting up an account, uh, there's already a MetaQuest referral program that you can use and you can actually get free money for applications when you start up your account. Um, so I definitely uh, recommend looking into this. I'm going to post a link on the screen and in the description below so you can do this. Um, and there's a great website uh, through Reddit that I found called Metadog. And basically you can go there and you can post your uh, referral code there and you can get referral codes there. So it's like a equally shared pool of refer referral codes so that when you set up accounts or you're sharing games, etc., uh, everybody gets a piece of the pie. So everyone gets credits. So if you have a meta account, I definitely recommend uh, putting your account in this system. And I also recommend if you're going to set up an account to use this to um, get some free referral cash, which is pretty awesome. So the first step you're going to want to do after setting up your account online is you're going to want to download the MetaQuest app and go to dashboard.oculus.com or developers.oculus.com to set up your account. And you're going to want to log in with your account and you're going to want to create a new organization. So it's going to give you a place to put your organization name. You're going to set up two factor authentication and you're going to have to um, give some more information. Sometimes they're going to want a copy of your driver's license, etc., to set up developer accounts at this time. I'll show more about that in a minute, but here's a look at the app. Um, this is the MetaQuest app. If you hit the button in the bottom right corner, hit headset settings, and then hit developer mode, you're gonna see this selection there because you've enabled developer mode with your account. If you click on developer mode, all you have to do is switch developer mode to on, and then you're good to go. You can finally do all the developer mode stuff, such as sideloading SideQuest. However, it's been a while since I've logged in to the developer dashboard um, and I do want to showcase that there are a few things that they are requesting these days. And one of the things I had to do is I had to click on legal documents and accept a few new terms that they had. And then I also had to verify my account by uh, uploading a um, picture of my uh, driver's license so they could verify my identity. Overall, it was a pain, but I just sent a photo from my phone and it was done in about 20 minutes. So again from the app, you want to hit menu in the bottom right, and then on the next screen you want to hit the devices button, and then you want to select your device. You'll see that your headset is connected, and you want to hit headset settings, and then once you click on headset settings, you're going to want to do the same thing we did before that we showed. You want to hit de developer mode, and if this is showing, this is a good sign, and then I'm going to turn debug mode on. So the wording is a bit different here, but developer mode is on, so just make sure that debug mode is on so you can use all the developer features. Once this is complete, we are ready to download SideQuest and move on to the next steps. So from the SideQuest website, in the top right, we're going to want to sign in or sign up, and then we're going to want to download SideQuest. You then want to click on Get SideQuest on the top of the homepage here, and then there's an easy installer and advanced installer. I recommend the advanced installer because there's direct installation of APK files, um, and there's a lot more features to use with this. Once you're done installing SideQuest, just open the program. You'll see that it's updating itself in the bottom there. It should say success. In the top left, you're going to see that your Oculus headset is not detected. Um, if you click on the open setup instructions, it's going to take you through a lot of the instructions we just went through. So you're going to want to go to the meta website, developer.oculus.com slash sign up. You're going to want to create your organization, create your account, um, and then you're going to want to enable developer mode through the Oculus or meta app on your phone. Um, once this is done, um, all you need to do is connect your headset via USB-C to your PC. 
and then once your headset is connected, you should see a prompt on your Oculus headset that should say allow USB debugging. Make sure you put allow and then allow access to data on your Oculus Quest. And then again, it should be green in the top left. You're gonna see that your Oculus is successfully connected to SideQuest. So now that we're successfully connected, we can install apps from our PC. We can sideload APK files, um, but I first wanna search here for the SideQuest app for direct access on your MetaQuest 3. So um, if you search SideQuest, you're gonna find the official app. If you click on sideload there, you'll see that it's starting to install in the bottom right. It's gonna say success, and then it has been successfully sideloaded onto your headset or device. And then we can pop on our Oculus and open SideQuest through our headset. Um, and we can do this standalone um, anytime we want. So let's take a look at the Oculus Home here. And if I click on our apps and I do the drop down and I click on unknown sources, I'm gonna see um, the SideQuest app there. And then it's gonna give me a code and I wanna use that code, go to the website that it says to go to and pair my device with SideQuest. Once paired, I can use SideQuest directly in my Oculus headset. I can download and sideload all of these free games, which is really cool. And um, there's a bunch of search filters here. Um, I can also change my different home screens so you can customize your Oculus Home, which is pretty cool. Um, and in a future video, I'll definitely show how to build your own uh, custom home that you'd like. And um, I'll also show some more advanced um, custom games such as Mario 64 with pass through, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can play Mario 64 um, and it actually interacts with the environment around you. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.